So today I'm just going to be doing a video on uh, my favorite products for the month of January and February. I know it's been a really long time since I've done one of these videos. I thought I'd just share with you guys. So the first, this is in no particular order. I'm just going with what I could reach for first. We will start with this product. It's from DHC. I don't know if you guys heard about this. It's a makeup remover. This is by DHC and it's the, called the Deep Cleansing Oil. I heard about this from Sharon from osharon.com. That's her blog or you can check her out on Twitter is obeauty88. She told me about this because I had tweeted like a couple months ago that I was looking for a new makeup remover since I finished with my MAC Cleanse Off Oil and I didn't want to get I didn't want to repurchase that one. I just didn't like it at all. So um, I went ahead and got ordered this online since that's where you can buy it. Um, I'll put the link to it on the bottom. And I, I just absolutely love this product. It's a kind of like a makeup remover and a cleanser. You use this dry. You pump one or two pumps in your hand. Then you kind of massage it all over your face, you know, your eyes and everything to remove the makeup and everything. And then when you're done doing that, massaging it in and then you wash it off what I liked about this is it was just you know easy to use uh, removes all the dirt excess oil makeup even waterproof mascara and after you rinse or after I rinsed it off I didn't feel like it was grimy or oily and or it didn't make my skin feel like super tight and it just felt really like clean and um, just clean and just was so soft on my face so I really really love this and the best thing about it was with the MAC cleanse off oil if I would accidentally get it into my eyes I would notice like my eyes would get kind of filmy and white and with this if it accidentally got into my eyes I wouldn't have that problem and with the MAC cleanse off oil my eyes would sting with it so um, definitely would recommend this um, for those that are looking for a new facial cleanser or makeup remover in one. So that's that. And the next on my list is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub. I really like this. Um, when I used it, it didn't over dry my face and it just had a really refreshing feeling, especially first thing in the morning when you wash your face with this. So I really recommend this um, and it smells amazing. So that's a plus. Next on my list would be this lotion. It's from Aveeno. It's called uh, the Vino. It's the creamy moisturizing oil. It's the one with the kind of like pinkish top because I know they have um, different ones. So um, that's that. So I heard about this from Aubrey. I'll put her link on the bottom as well. Her YouTube when she was, oh, so I guess for winter products, but I, for those that know me, I have really dry skin and I'm always complaining about looking for lotions, yada, yada, yada. And so I decided to try this out. And when I did, I was just like, um, I really fell in love with this product because it claims that it is non-greasy, which it is not greasy at all. And it absorbs into the skin like immediately once you're smoothing it on. It doesn't feel oily at all, which I hate feeling like that. Um, it smells amazing like it has such a light scent to it but it's very pleasant it's not overpowering or anything like that and it just smells good and it actually works I noticed that the more that I used it the more it made my skin feel a lot soft softer also it claims that it moisturizes all day long which I must say that when I used it usually with other lotions or products I would feel like my skin would just soak it all up immediately and just be dry for the rest of the day but throughout the day I would feel like it was moist my skin was moisturized and um, that's what I liked about this product too so definitely recommend this if you have dry skin or want something um, to try out and that smells good so I know I've mentioned this before in my favorites blog I don't think I've done a video um, on this but this is my absolute favorite perfume ever it's by philosophy it's called Falling in Love. It is such an amazing scent to it. It's like a cotton candy, yet it's like a fresh scent, really feminine, and it's not too overpowering. It's like just enough um, 
perfume or the scent is just enough to make you want to smell just a little bit more. I just I got this at Sephora. I got the little one because I wasn't sure if I would like it because I get bored of perfumes quite easily. But I must say I'm almost done with this and I still love this. Love, love, love. So that's my favorite too. And next is um, the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. This is in Blackest Black. It looks like this. I know like the font is all back or the writing is all backwards because it does that on my MacBook. And it's a felt tip. And um, I found this from Heart, her um, YouTube. I believe this was in her favorites. And um, and everybody that knows me knows that I love black eyeliner. And just recently, I've been getting into liquid eyeliner. And so I really wanted to try this. I used to use the L'Oreal Lenore Intense. And so when she mentioned this on her blog and how, how really dark, black it was and just it was amazing I had to try it so I did I bought it now I love it thank you heart um, absolutely love this eyeliner it I mean I'm wearing it right now it's really black and I love this it stays on all day and what more can I ask for in an eyeliner so if you guys are looking for a really black eyeliner that stays all day this is the one and it's cheap too I got this from Target just in case you guys were wondering the next on my list, there's, it's by Sigma. It's their uh, Sig Sigmax brushes. There's, they come in a set. Sorry, I just used them, so they're used. But I wanted to share them with you guys, anyways, because I love my brushes. All right, so this is the F82. This is the Round Top Kabuki. It's round. It's really cute. This is the Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, the F80. So it's not it's flat and then the f84 is the angle top kabuki f84 absolutely love this one to contour my face it's like perfect so and I use it to it like it fits just perfectly for me and I use this to contour my face love it the bristles are so soft they're amazing they blend um, they blend like flawless and then I use the F80 for my liquid foundation, and I'm not wearing any liquid foundation today, but I usually use this. I haven't used my other foundation brushes, but this is what I usually reach for, and this gives me such an amazing like airbrush flawless finish. Love it. Then the F82, I love this because um, I use this to set my foundation and especially like, or if I'm going to wear just concealer around my under eye area or around the nose because I get really red around the nose and then I have dark circles. I use this um, to set it, set the concealer or my foundation and it fits like perfectly under the eye and then around the corners of the nose. I love it. Love, 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 love this brush. And it just, it's just amazing. I love this brush. I love these brushes. So if you guys aren't unsure about the brushes, I totally recommend these to you. So these are my favorite. These are just like my favorite facial brushes. And um, so that concludes my favorites for the month of January and February. So I hope um, you guys liked it. And until the next video, thanks for watching.